It was close, in a lot of ways, but... And I kind of established the better, the dominant water position, but that ended up screwing me, because it pushed him to making that water pump. And then the water pump was brilliant, and it worked out just fine. That's, that's a really frustrating bit to it, is just this idea of, I pushed him into a subpar play that got made strong. Oh, I'm so tempted just to throw down on that. You must be a rather skilled researcher. I don't see aluminum yet. I couldn't have or no, I did see aluminum. What, what was it I hadn't seen yet? There might be a Shall better source of iron, and this might be a terrible idea. But the map was Scavenger. not looking good in a lot of ways. He's going to actually throw down Scavenger and have to subsist off of these. So we're actually, we're okay. We have to buy iron if we want to get our nice triangle down. But that's it. He tried to beat me to this. He didn't. I think that's what he's upset about. It's understandable. He he would hope to beat me to that, and it just didn't happen. Let's see. Thankfully, I have full control of the steel market. He has full control of the carbon market. But both of those things are kind of to be expected when you're just in this particular matchup. I'll upgrade in a moment. I'll take the water tiles that are close to me and far from him. I'll take the particularly valuable ones. Probably just establish these two. I've never seen such elegant use of funding. And then get down this last steel mill before long. Time. Just sell off some steel. Get down the mill. Okay, so we got the valuable stuff. We might just head into electrolysis again and be okay. That's going to go into the iron there. That's interesting. This is probably not very valuable. I do not want to push too high on it. So it's just kind of a game of chicken at this point. Who's going to back down first and get the free debt? That's not really going to do much. I'll let him have it. 8,000. He doesn't get a huge benefit off that uh, for most of the game, usually not in 1v1s at all, because that kind of helps you make cams and electronics, which you almost never see in 1v1, because they're just so darn difficult to make. Now, if that he can make them valuable this game, I just handed him the whole game. But my bet is that he won't be able to do that. And so it'll be okay. Yep, he blocks off my triangle by taking subpar tiles. That's kind of okay. I can still get triangles in here. I just have to rearrange them and actually potentially spend some water. And that's all right. Let's go ahead and auto supply this. The black market is online. Because I'm generally far more willing to do that with my... Ah, he beat us to the claim by just a second. That's frustrating. Okay, well, we want to use the black market anyway if we can. So I'm actually just going to sell quite a lot of stuff to get this goon so that I have it. A dust storm doesn't make too big a difference, but this map is doing dust storms, so that kind of pushes both of us potentially more toward solar or wind power than we might have already been pushed. And that's worth keeping in mind. Unfortunately, I'm very late to the glass purchase, and that's going to cause me problems. Too difficult to try and commentate and... 1v1 at the same time, lose track of things too easily, and that's just kind of where we're at. This would probably be better off as a water pump right now, but I'm not going to transition out of it at this point. It's just a thing to note. I haven't played scientific enough to know off the top of my head when what is going to be better, if you know what I mean. And so we're just experimenting with that a lot. Yeah, these currently aren't making him very much, which is the idea. He committed two tiles to blocking me, but they're not making him almost any money. So it's it's more or less okay. Okay. How close are we to upgrading? The Still a fair distance away. Online. But we've got this oxygen to sell now, so that's good. Or sorry, this fuel to sell. Oxygen coming soon. We can go ahead and upgrade. I'm gonna hold off just a moment. And I think I'm going to try and take nice wind power position, like right here. Our growth is surpassing my most optimistic projections. Those are the three tiles I really want right now. I want to move into this wind power. I want to buy the carbon that I need. 
It gives him some money, which is a concern, but it's just what we're trying to do this game. Unfortunately, we kind of had to telegraph it a bit earlier than we would have liked. He's actually going for solar power rather than wind, so there's a bit of an awkwardness there. His solar power is going to be cheaper, but easier to shut down. So that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Also, he's building it as night is coming. So that's another bit of concern for him. I'll let him take it for 18 in this particular game. I think that's okay. Just need some of these shipments to come in. Uh, again, we should be getting some very, very shortly. A very, very nice large amount of money. Then we can get the rest of our wind power up and maybe get to a power surge purchase. What is this? A glass furnace. That's interesting. Okay, power surge is bought. Wind is up. Can we get more wind up, please? There it is. How's the steel doing? Awful. We can go ahead and shut it down since we're trying to make money off of that nonsense at this point. And we're just gonna we're just gonna power surge before too terribly long. We are letting it sit for a while because Okay, he does actually have enough to buy a goon, but he hasn't made the move to do that yet. He actually just committed everything into some resources for whatever reason. Now he's starting to sell off. It's hard to... Oh, it's because there's a, uh, a silicon short. Great. Fantastic. You know, if this were a fuel short, do you have any idea how good of a position we'd be in right now? But with a silicon short, look how much money he just made. He was sitting on 14000 Now he's up to twenty nine thirty. It's a scavenger advantage. Hard to fight off. Oh well. I really, really hate those shortages because it just gave him a free upgrade is what that came down to. Like, here's a short. Oh, have an upgrade. Thanks, game. That's cool. Dust storm. This is why we threw down what we did with the wind turbines. Because the map had already shown us it was willing to dust storm. We're hoping it just keeps dust storming and that we can give him debt and cause him problems. So even if these solar panels were online, they would not be making near as much as he would want them to at this point. He does have one online again. We'll just actually shut that down immediately. And unfortunately, he's making huge amounts of money off this silicon shortage. And so I think none of this actually matters. Yes, I'm upset, by the way. I think that's reasonable at this point. Luck just completely determined this game again. And that's kind of what happens, because PB and I are exceptionally close in level. I was playing around the idea of the dust storm, and it worked out okay. But he just has so much cash that I can't actually buy him, because he's making so much money on this silicon. So much more on the silicon than I even am potentially off of this dust storm, compared to what I should be. Now, I can try and stay in the game and find something to move into that would be difficult for him. But the game really could have been cleaned up very, very quickly off all of this, and then just wasn't. He almost let that go. That's insane. Nuked out his silicon to at least slow down the boost he's going to get off of that. These can all be turned back on at this point. Nanotech, potentially good. Potentially, but not guaranteed good. So I'm going to try to upgrade and stay in the game, despite his huge bonus and advantage that he has. Then I think I need to get some farms down, which means I'm going to need water. Unfortunately, they're not going to be very good with the dust storm in a lot of ways. But they're going to be kind of usable. So what I'm going to do... I could also just go for an additional reactor here. And see, there he goes buying up his own stock. That was the big downside, right? Was the fact that he would be able to buy up all of his stock. So it wouldn't matter that we had generated all that debt for him. And we had committed three tiles to this play. That's just the luck of the draw, though. Alright. We're going to get down a little water. And use that to help power some of these farms. We're just going to put them down over here so we can get nice adjacency bonuses on them. And then I think the black we might need line. to push for a hacker array if we can. He already has one down. Because once again, he got handed the entire game again. But we can still try and fight back. 
with our own our own unique plays. I have to imagine he's gonna hack Silicon. Not that, that. Get the goon. Now we'll just push push to the hacker array as fast as we can. Okay, didn't really need to do that. I'm gonna scrap this. Put the hacker array down. We don't have to supply that one anymore. It could be glass he's going for. And it could be silicon. It really doesn't matter. He has control of that whole market, and that whole market got turned valuable automatically. What's more is he went for solar panels, and they're next to his base, so he can easily repurpose those. He probably just surplused out food. That was probably him. If that was the game, then the game has honestly decided that we are not to win these games. But we can make the assumption that was him. He would have had to start that before I think we even had food production up. But it's possible. It's possible. <sighs> well, the hacker ray is down. We can try. Another Global option is to is instead try and go for some surpluses. Just in general. They're not going to be in time, but we can maybe do something the with them. Four, thousand, five, thousand, six, thousand, nope. seven, Need to do that. Wait. What's this about being able to adjust the stream quality? 18, I know people weren't able to do that before. 20, this was too much, probably. Um, oh, I thought I had that for some reason. Oh, well. That's what I get for checking chat during an auction. I'm just not paying attention. It happens. Another food surplus. Uh, one of those had to be him, but I don't think both were. Which is interesting. They're still making me money, but not much. He has intercepted my valuable thing at this point. His glass shouldn't be making that money. Yeah, his glass is actually losing him money at the moment. Did he honestly just short chems? Because I could see that. Oh well, we're, we're completely dead. We're honestly completely dead. And that's kind of all there is to it. Unfortunately. Because look at how much money he's just sitting on in resources, and this is all this is all just coming off the stupid, ridiculous silicon short, and the fact that he happened to be hanging out at the silicon. That's it. That's all that happened this game. That's all it takes, though. I don't think we can upgrade, because he can probably just go for the buy on us very, very quickly. He doesn't need that much money. Our hackers have compromised the trading servers. Price manipulation begins shortly. Eek fuel up bit by bit. This water and this farms are finally losing us money. I really wonder if both of those surpluses were him. We can check after this game. He's done something else as well. Oh, he actually shorted glass. Well, the short will eventually outplay. Oh no, there's a two surpluses on the glass. Seriously? Did he surplus glass too? How is there... This whole game is just nuts, guys. There are so many shortages going on. I have no idea what to actually do with the game. Nope, he sold before we did. We just got too late into it. He knows about all these things ahead of time, too. So every single short just plays into his favor. It's ridiculous. Your stock is being bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I could have shorted steel. Might have been a good option. Let's just make our shorts super obvious commit everything into it because it's literally our only play. We need 147,000. His debt's pretty high. That's all we got going for us is his debt's pretty high. I mean, I can use this if he gives it to me. But I can also push him into it a bit, because he is PB, and that's how he works. You don't want it for 12? He's going to give it to me for 10. All right. Well, I think I can use that. Maybe. 
Oh, wow. Is this a double fuel short coming in? I don't know if I can your sit around for that. 170. Yeah, I'm only at 70. The game's just over. That's all there is to it. GG, Silicon Short, you win. Alright. Yep. Too many things going wrong.